So now that we've covered how to find competitors using our supplier AliExpress, for this video I'm going to show you how to find competitors using Amazon as an example. But remember, this same process can be used for Walmart as well as the Home Depot or any other suppliers you would like to use. So first, we're going to start on the product research of Zeek Analytics. Because we are using Amazon.com for this example, the first thing you're going to want to do is change your shipping location. And how you're going to do that is you're going to jump into your settings and click on My Settings. Under My Settings, you're going to select Search Preferences. And under Shipping Location, we're going to select the United States. Once you do that, you're going to go to the bottom of the page and select Save Preferences. Also, if you have the Zeek Booster, you're going to go ahead and click on it. You're going to change the country location to the United States and click on Save. Once you have those settings set, you're going to go back to the product research. In another tab, you're going to go ahead and open Amazon.com. Now if you're international, the zip code that you can use is the one that we use here, which is a New York zip code. Once you have your zip code all set, you're going to click on Apply and then on Done. The reason we do change the zip code is so that all of the prices and the total outcome of your product are related to the country that you are selling in. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select a category and you're going to do that by clicking on All. For this example, we're going to go into the Baby category. Once you select your category, you're going to go ahead and click on the Search button. Then, on the left side here, you have your subcategories. For this example, we're going to select Baby Care. Now once you select your subcategory, this top rated category will come up. What you're going to do is click on See More. Here, you're going to find any product, any product at all, it doesn't really matter what product it is, and we're going to select this product here. Now once you have your product selected, you're going to go ahead and copy the title of the product. Now remember, this is the same exact process you would use when using Walmart or the Home Depot. Once you have it copied, you're going to jump back into the Zeek Analytics product research. And in the search bar, you're going to paste the title of the item that you found on Amazon. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click on search. Now here you can see that all of these items are pretty similar, which means that these are all dropshippers who are dropshipping this same item from Amazon to eBay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all the items and click on Zeke Selection. At this stage of our example, the statistics are really not that important at this time. What is important are the dropshippers. And how we're going to find them is we're going to scroll down to the product list. Down here on the left side, you can see where the seller is coming from. This icon here allows you to scan the seller. The star and these numbers tell you the amount of feedback the seller has. Here in the middle, we have the photos and next to them are the titles of each of these items. Here are the numbers that tell you the amount of times each of these items sold. Right next to that is the price that the items are selling for. And the location is the location of the item. So now that we know where and what is located, our next job is to pick a couple of these sellers and just go through them by clicking on the scan seller icons here. So. By going through and clicking on the scan on seller icons, we do this so we can get more information about each seller. And I'm doing a couple of these because I want to get the most out of my search. So we have this seller here, over 10,000 active listings, and this is all stats from the last 30 days. And you can always change the number of days that you're gathering stats. We usually go with 30 days because you just have more information with that. This seller's feedback score is over 5,000. Successful listings is 734. Now the reason we opened up all of these sellers is so that we can get a lot of information and just make sure that most of these are dropshippers who are dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. 
So how to find out if they are drop shippers from Amazon to eBay? Well, we're gonna scroll down to the product list and Amazon requires that all listings have photos with a white background. And as you can see, most of these photos have the white background. Another policy from Amazon is the title of the item. They do not want you changing the title completely. So that's another way that you can tell if the item is being drop shipped from Amazon to eBay. So quick recap of this step. We went to the Zeke Analytics product research, found a product on Amazon, copied the title, typed it into the product research, and clicked on search. Selected all the items, and we chose a couple of these sellers to scan to open up their profiles so that we can see their statistics. This is a great way to find out if these sellers are successful in what they are doing. Another thing we can do is when we are in the seller profile and scroll down to the product list, select the best selling item. You can see the date it uploaded, the number of sales, total lifetime sales, the price, and this C right here tells you how many competitors are selling the same item. Now what you can do to find more dropshippers and go more into depth in your research is click on this icon here, which is scan title. And when you click on it, it opens up a new tab in Zeek Analytics. And all of those 16 products, as well as the 16 competitors, show up here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select all items and click on Zeke Selection. This will go more into depth to find more competitors. So again, these stats are not that important at this time when we are looking for competitors. We're gonna scroll down to the product list. So again, here we have all of the information that we had before, the seller location, scan seller, the feedback score, the number of times the item sold, the photo of the item, the title of the item, the price, and the location of the item. Here in this stage, when going more into depth into the competitor research to finding competitors and items, it's very important to look at the feedback score, the title, the number of sales, as well as the price. This information will allow you to pick the right competitor as well as the right product. The number of sales is very important because this tells you that this seller is doing something right. When looking at the sales price of an item, you want to compare it to the other competitors. Is this seller selling it for a higher or lower price than his competitors? Now the feedback score that you should be looking for is right here. Now, if you're just starting out, you probably want to compete against competitors who have at least a feedback score of 1,000 to 2,000. It's always a great idea to find competitors who are international. This way, it's guaranteed that they're drop shippers. What you can do now is click on the scan on seller icon to go into his profile to check out the other items that he has. So your goal when searching for competitors is finding someone with the least amount of feedbacks, the highest selling price, highest number of sales, and the best title. A good title consists of changing up a few words, keywords that have high traffic. So let's say you're interested in this seller, you wanna scroll down to his product list, find some of the products that you want to drop ship in your store as well. This is how you would do it.